When a white man eats Jolly Bee for the first time. <laughs> oh, he's from Florida. Look, he's driving around in a freaking tuk tuk. Indian Pumpinoy. Mabuhay kayo. Paki subscribe. At sampalin ang kampana. Madalas may nag-request na ikwento ko on a personal level kung bakit sobrang lakas ng connection ko sa Pilipinas. Please watch to the end of this video because I will reveal parts of those answers. Ganun din, wag po natin ibash si Jadu. This video is for entertainment and perspective purposes only. Mabuhay! Ako ang inyong kakampi na si Puting Pinoy. Isang puti na may pusong Pinoy. Appear tayo! Oh, by the way, yan si Corona mga kakampi. Aking cuting. Oh, sobrang cute niya. Isang puspin. At ngayon mga kikampi, sobrang hindi kapanipaniwala ang papanorin natin at pag-uusapan natin. May isang puti na akala niya talaga na siya ay isang teroy. Parang ikaw? No, iba naman sa akin. Okay. Para sa akin, alam ko na pusong Pinoy ako. Aha. Tapos, maraming tao na ako tumira sa Pilipinas at naging involved sa Pilipinas. Kaya ka nagka-pusong Pinoy? Oo. Oh, oh. okay. Kaya may qualifications ako para masabi ko yan. Pero yung papanorin natin ngayon, ano kaya ang qualifications niya? Paano niya masasabi? Na Pinoy siya. Mga kikampi, kayo mismo maging judges kung... Ano ba talaga ang sitwasyon na nangyayari dito? Mag-comment kayo below mga kikampi kung siya ay karapat dapat na tuwaging Pinoy o hindi. By the way mga kikampi, huwag kalimutan na sampalin ang like at sampalin ang kampana. Tingnan natin kung bakit sinasabi niya na isa siyang Pinoy. Well, it's increasingly accepted the wisdom of this age is that everybody is allowed to define his or her own identity. Your gender is mm -hmm. not determined gender. by your chromosomes. Race mm -hmm. is a social construct, not a matter of genetics. Jadu is simply taking that wisdom to its logical conclusion. Born a white male named Adam Wheeler, Jadu now identifies as Jadu. a Filipina woman mm -hmm. and joins us tonight. Ja Thanks for coming up. Jadu? Jadu? Mm -hmm. Pinoy kaya yon? Mm -hmm. Parang nadalito yata siya. Hindi pang Pinoy yung pangalan. Oh, uh, thanks for having me, Tuck. So, um, I'm not here to mock you, but just to ask you sincere questions <laughs> among them. It's awesome. What are your, what does your mom think of this? Uh, well, uh, you know... Ano, ano kaya, ibaliktad natin ito. Kung ikaw ay isang Pinoy, at sinabi mo sa, sa nanay mong Pinay, hindi ako Pilipino, puti ako. Anong magiging sagot niya? Kaka-computer mo yan. Anong nangyari sa'yo, Nak? She did, she did eventually find, find out with, you know, all all the stories going on about me and about and about my group. Uh, you know, it, she's kind of still trying to uh, trying to come to the realization that I'm not that I'm not exactly joking. That you're not Hindi joking talaga siya you, nagbibiro. You uh -huh. Went from being a white man to a Filipino woman. Um, well, I mean, well, how, well, well how, she, she are, sorry, I'm did, sorry for, uh, what, so what did she say? Did she accept that? Well, she, she saw one of the stories that went on about, went on about me and, uh, you know, she came, she came in the door, you know, like hyster hysterically laughing and I didn't oh, know gosh. what was going on. I, I came to, I came down the right, stairs like and she's holding a phone. <laughs> 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 I mean, para sa akin, yung gender identity mo, okay naman yan. Uh -huh. You know, like, maaring feeling mo talaga na babae ka o lalaki ka. You know, social construct yung gender. Pero ito, masasabi ba talaga na yung lahi mo ay iba? Alam mo, merong mga tao na nagsasabi na alien sila, na Diyos sila. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to lead, to lead school. Yeah. I mean, sa tingin ko, siguro pwedeng sabihin, like may isa akong kakampi dito sa channel, uh, shout out kay Jerry, isa siyang Indian mm -hmm. na ipinanganak dito sa Pilipinas. Para sa akin, kung gusto niyang tawagin ang sarili niya na Pilipino, mm -hmm. uh, like anong palagay mo dyan, diba? Like ipinanganak siya dito, lumaki siya dito. Oh, naturalized. Yeah, parang ganun. Pero kung nakikamali ka sa pangalan pa lang, yeah. hindi man pang Pinoy, Dapat Jemmer din pa nga. 
Yeah, Mary Tess, Cherry Lynn, <laughs> Cherry May. With, uh, with a video that was made about me on YouTube, and she was just, you know, she was just cackling, saying, "This is the best. This is the best thing ever." And you know, I a Karen in a bureau. I, I can reflect on myself in the third person, and I can see why it's silly, and it, and it is silly. Uh, oh well, that's it good. Like she doesn't. Mm -hmm. she doesn't take it that seriously. At least my sense of humor, Sha, mm -hmm. na alam niya na, oi, this is kind of weird. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sir, I guess the reason I want to talk to you was I've always wondered if you can, if we are telling kids or if adults are agreeing that you can change your sex, why not change your race? Mm -hmm. Why would that huh. be not allowed? Uh, why would we consider that impossible? Siguro, I want to siguro yung kasaysayan, yung mm -hmm. cultural knowledge, mm -hmm. yung, <laughs> di ba? Like, yung basic kaalaman tungkol sa kultura na sinasabi mo, na sinasalihan mo. Oh. Di ba? Just <laughs> curious ako, paano nangyari to, na nadinip pa siya? Oh. Tapos meron parang pangitain na jadu. Isa kang Pilipina. Yeah, nakamali. Siguro, mali ang narinig niya. Siguro yung sabi sa kanya, uh, June. <laughs> <laughs> when did that occur to you that you wanted to do that? Well, in, in, in short, in short, uh, you know, the, the, Filip the Filipino culture just kind of, just kind of resonated with me. And, mm -hmm. you know, again, okay. again I, can, I can see in the, I, I can look at myself in the third person and... Yeah, you know, nakikira relate ako doon. Jadu, sana po sa Pinoy na lang sabi mo. Identity issues are are issues. You know, it's it's a very small part of myself as well as my transsexuality. Uh, but, you know, a lot, a lot of people like yourself, you know, find it find it interesting and I'll, and I'll talk about it. Well, I just but, think it's interesting that things that we thought were immutable and that scientifically mm -hmm. remain immutable like your sex or your race now we're saying exactly. that you can change i wonder since you yeah. well, you changed your race wait 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 makaiba yung sex sa gender yes. gender yung pag-iisip mo sa sarili mo yung image mo sa sarili mo do you think the rest of us spend or the left particularly seems to invest so much significance in race you're this race you're this race each one is very different from yeah. the other that's kind of the whole point of being a progressive now, do you think they put too much emphasis on race? New Orleans? Ano ba yan? Na, marami bang ano? Filipino? Yeah, tingnan natin. Uh, yeah, less than 1% of Filipinos reside in New Orleans. Kaya paano niya masigurado na hindi siya nakakamali tungkol sa pagiging Filipino? Uh, I, I think they do, and I think in some instances they use they use race as kind of a basis to d to divide people, and and I'm ta and I'm talking about uh, and I'm talking about uh what's it called uh, uh and I'm talking about intersectionality, where you have where you have two people that are all of a sudden enemies just for simply existing, you know I I, I don't exactly. like that you know I I wish people would just talk to each other instead of trying to silence each other with. With, so, uh, siguro ginagawa niya bilang uh, symbol? Draconian, uh, mm -hmm. draconian systems that they try to implement into laws. Well, they must be deeply, I mean, I, I'm surprised I'm saying this, I, I agree with you completely. They must be deeply offended by you then. Exactly. You know, uh, you know, I tell a lot of people that, you know, the, the LGBT community and, and, you know, there are some left communities as well that aren't as tolerant as they may, as they may seem. Uh, I, you know, I, I think, I, I actually think a lot like a lot of the thing, same things you do. I'm just a little bit weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, that's fair to say. I mean, yeah. I mean, your mom agrees. So, I don't <laughs> <know>. <laughs> uh, so, but when, but so like we give all kinds of rewards based on race and then we also punish on the basis of it. And you're saying you're breaking the rules by saying, well, that I'm just going to change mine. I mean, that must drive the yeah. people who are making yeah. these rules. Mm -hmm. Well, sana, at the very least, kung pinili mo yung Pilipinas or yung pagiging Pilipino, like, malalaman mo talaga kung anong ibig sabihin ng pagiging Pilipino. Tsaka, di ba, kinda dangerous yun. I mm. mean, kasi kung hindi ka rooted sa kung saan ka pinanggal, ano talaga yung pinanggalingan mo, then magkakaroon ka na identity crisis? Well, I think yan ang nakikita natin. So. <laughs>
I'm curious to see an update on him, you know? Mm -hmm. you, I don't believe you can actually change your sex and you, I don't believe you can actually change your race. You know, you're, you're, you're mm -hmm. born as you are. Mm -hmm. You know, like he's kind of just like, he's not really what he claims to be and he's just trying to like show how silly it is. Mm -hmm. He says, I was hoping he would have had a fake Filipino accent. That's funny. As ridiculous as it is, I have to give him credit for being mild-mannered and yeah. acknowledging he has a problem. When a white man eats Jollibee for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> he says something in another interview about how um, he ate lumpia. Like, how he loves lumpia. Like Lumpia? Yeah, I got, I've got to find this. Oh, he's from Florida. Look, he's driving around in a freaking tuk-tuk. It's a tuk-tuk. Tuk-tuk. Uh, yeah, they use them a lot in the Philippines. Uh, yeah, they use them a lot in the Philippines. Uh, what is it? Yeah, they use them a lot in the Philippines. Uh, what is it? Whenever, you know, I'm around, whenever I'm around the music, I'm around the food. I feel like I'm in my own skin. I'd watch the History Channel sometimes for hours. You know, whenever whenever it came to that. Well, whatever you know, History you know, Channel he's watching, it's so wrong. About, you know, Filipino culture. I think if you're unhappy with who you are and you change yourself for the better and that makes you happy, you know, go for it. But so, hindi naman siya nagiging I, I ironic. I say it was mm -hmm. a privilege to, you know, be unhappy with yourself all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, the funny thing is, is, you know, I had to make sure that it wasn't just me because if it's just me, then there must be something wrong or maybe mm -hmm. I'm just, maybe I'm just strange. Uh, so, you know, I created the group in hopes of, you know, getting our message out in a bottle. And people started to join. People started to message me about, you know, their conflictions with themselves. My family knows about my transsexuality, but they don't know anything about this. It's just my mom is kind of an older world person. And I just think that something telling her something like that is just too wild. I believe that we all have the freedoms to pursue happiness in our own ways. We can pursue, mm -hmm. we can pursue, pursue, pursue in, intimacy with whatever partner we want. Talk, talk. Yeah, they've got all sorts of things wrong. Kung Filipino talaga, dapat tricycle or kaya jeepney. Yeah, exactly. Tito K says it. Tito K says it right here. Tuk Tuk is Thailand, not Philippines. This guy doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm Filipino. I don't even know what a Tuk Tuk is. We have only tricycles here. Well, tricycles and jeepneys. Thinks he's Filipino, gives himself an Indonesian name and drives a Thai vehicle. I mean, if you're going to appropriate a culture, at least be accurate. I don't think this person think, really thinks he's Filipino so much as like in vaguely South A East Asian stuff. Meron nung binabasa ngayon uh -huh. ng article ng USA Today tungkol sa kanya. Um, sabi niya, I've watched the History Channel sometimes for hours. Nothing else intrigued me more but things about Filipino culture. So, bakit kaya na isip niya na? Siguro, na lang niya. Yeah, siguro na mix lang niya. Uh -huh. Like yung episode niyo and like uh -huh. akala niya na tungko sa Pilipinas, pero uh -huh. tungko sa Southeast Asia siguro. Like, uh -huh. siguro pinagsama nila ang lahat uh -huh. ng Southeast Asia sa episode niyo. Sabi pa, merong kinonsult na psychologist, Tampa Bay psychologist Stacy Schreckner said, If someone feels that they feel at home with a certain religion, a certain race, a certain culture, I think that if that's who they really feel inside, life is about finding out who you are. Mm -hmm. The more knowledge you have of yourself, the happier you can be. And as long as it's not hurting yourself or anyone else, I don't see a problem with that. I agree with that too, pero at the very least, like, get it right. Yeah. Be accurate. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, para sa akin naman, Kasi puti ako na nakitira dito sa Pilipinas, nagsasalita ng Tagalog. May tattoo man ako of the Philippine flag. Nakasuot man ako ng t-shirt, yan yung tattoo ko. Ganon pa man, alam ko na hindi ako Pinoy. Like pagdating sa lahi ko. You know, like I do feel like my familiarity, my, you know, nasabi ko mga ilang beses na na may mga familiar aspects sa uh, kultura ng Pilipinas, sa uh, kultura na pinanggalingan ko, mm -hmm. the good and the bad, mm -hmm. and then some new things which I also gravitate towards in life. Halimbawa, ako mahilig kong tumambay, mahilig kong magkwentuhan, magbidioke, and those things just aren't quite valued as much in 
America as much or to the degree that it is here. I grew up not really having many family meals together and I love that that's something that's valued here. Pero ganun pa man, alam ko na hindi ako Pinoy, di ba? Mm. Like yung title ng aking channel, Puting Pinoy, hindi ibig sabihin puti na Pinoy, kundi puti na may pusong Pinoy. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It just so happens... <laughs> It just so happens na mas madaling bikasin at sabihin yeah. yung puting Pinoy. Pero nakakatuwa din na merong taong kagaya niya. Very interesting lang. Gusto niyang ma-identify bilang Filipino kahit I, na, you know, yeah, ganyan nga yung nangyayari. Kahit wala siyang alam tungkol sa Pilipinas. I mean, at the very least, mm-hmm. pwede natin siyang i-content. Like, yeah. <laughs> diba? <laughs> Well, I hope he's doing well, Jadu. Jadu, dapa Jun Jun, like. Di ng mga babae, Jen Jen. Okay, Jen Jenny Lin, Jenny Lin. Yen ang bagong pangalan mo. <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, I've spent over a third of my life involved in the Philippines in one way or another, but specifically living in the provinces and here in Metro Manila, it's been. Combined, it's been almost four years mm-hmm. that I've lived in the Philippines. And of all the places I've lived, even in the U.S., there's only one or two places I lived for four years. So mm-hmm. it's like, for me, it's a very significant chunk of my life. But anyway, mga kikampi, ano ba ang palagay niyo dito? Wa wa kalimutan sampalin ang like at sampalin ang kampana. Maraming salamat din pala sa ating... Uh, Channel members, na si Nurse Candy, Char- uh, Shira Joy Casamayor, at Cherry Lynn Gunda. Maraming salamat sa support niyo. At kung gusto niyong supportahan ang channel, pwede niyong sampalin ang join button na katabi ng uh, subscribe button para matulungan ang channel. Alright, mga kikampi, maraming salamat.